Oh my god, I was just doing fire. What? All right, what's up guys in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a shockwave effect for Fortnite So three things you need are your Fortnite clips your music and your shockwave effect I'll have the shockwave effect link down below, but if you want other ones uh, Just search it up on YouTube that you can find them anywhere any color you want but uh, Just turn into an mp4 file download it and you want to open your DaVinci Resolve I've already made a new project but to make a new one, just click new project and it'll, it'll have something different, but you'll know what to do. Just go to your settings, change this to 60, change this to 60 as well. And if you want to upload on 1440p, just put 2560 by 1440 on the timeline resolution. All right. So once you're done with that, you want to drag in your clips and everything. So have the shockwave effect. And I have the music and I also have the the clip I want to use so you just want to find where the person says something important in the song or when the beat drops so right here if you guys know or listen to the song, you should know what that is, obviously. Okay, so just drag your clip down to size to so what you're comfortable with it being and find out where you hit your shot. So for me, it would be right here. You know, nothing too fancy right now, Just, just this. You know, no effects, but um, if you want to learn how to do a glow and camera shake effect, go to my last video. I'll have that in the description. But today we're just going to be learning how to do a shockwave effect. So what you want to do is find out where you, uh, you know, want your black and white area to be. So it's obviously, for me, it's going to be uh, when I hit the shot and where I'm comfortable with it starting. So like right here and what you want to do once you finish that is bring your red line to where your cut part is if you know how to cut if you don't know how to cut it's uh pressing this blade right here and once you're done you can go back to the arrow so when you want to go to your color tab just go to the beginning with the red line at the bottom right uh go bring your saturation down to like around the 40s area don't go any lower than that and uh just click on your corrective setting and just change it so you should probably press your keyframe thing first before you change it and then it'll it'll show up and you just want to bring this hello i want this move you just want to bring the red line to where you hit your shot and you just want to drag it all the way down to zero and click save which is control s or you can go to your uh file and just click save project um you just want to see if you're comfortable with how it works so i'm pretty happy with it maybe like a little quicker but you know i'm fine with it so you can probably right now put in your shockwave effect but you just want to make sure you delete the audio because it doesn't make sense to have the audio in the first place uh you just want to change your clip speed to probably like 600 percent because like normally this is really slow you just want to change it to uh, speed, probably like 600. Okay, and uh, you should probably like, all right, I'll, I'll show you how. So you just want to 
do either make a node uh, called a delta keyer and this will have all right so now that you have your delta keyer you just want to put it into your media and I believe make the background color I mean not the background color don't quote me on that Make the reference black. Uh, yeah, make the reference black. And, you know, it should be clear now. So you see how it's a circle, but it's not yet, like, complete. Like, looks kind of weird. So what you want to do is go to the clip after the black and white one. And you want to go to your color tab. And uh, you want to go to the RGB mixer. Uh, click on the clip. It should already be highlighted in orange since, you know, that's the only clip there. You want to press Alt-L. Alt, yeah, Alt-L. I was pressing Control for some reason. And you want to turn on monochrome for the one labeled number one. That'll just make it completely black and white. And the next thing you want to do is... Uh, basically just click on the number three one so that's highlighted and you want to go to where the circle starts and you want to get your your circle so just press on the uh, window tab and press circle you'll see this big circle appear don't worry it's nothing too serious uh, you just want to drag it to where the circle is at that moment and it looks pretty good here and you want to high uh like highlight corrector three you probably should have done that first but like if you didn't just move it around so it uh shows on the uh timeline thing and you want to go three frames ahead and you want to basically fill out the circle to the circle again and then you want to go to where the shock wave is basically outside of the frame and you want to just drag your circle I don't know why it's being so difficult right now but um, like you get what I mean uh, I, yeah I don't have to, okay there we go so just make sure the whole thing is like completely in color and it should be markered so make sure you save your project it should look just like this so you see how like it's going into color as the thing moves. Yeah, it's just going into color as the thing moves. Obviously, if you want to make it more accurate, you see how it's like kind of not fitted into the to the thing. You could go into your settings and fix all of that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So you have your into black and white. And then you have your shockwave effect. So yeah, that's basically how you do your shockwave effect. If you want me to teach you how to do other things, like um, the ghost effect, or maybe like a lightning bolt effect, just uh, leave it in the comments. Make sure you leave a like, um, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Alright, well, uh, peace out.